watch this video, I need to, um, I need to do some, like, genie work here, basically. <laughs> um, I'm sure that there is a specific reason that a lot of you people are watching this video right now. You, you know the time you're watching this video. Um, and I want to see my accuracy on what is going on, basically, in your life right now. So, um, please let me know my accuracy in the comments. But, um, here's basically what I'm assuming most of your, what, what's going on in most of your guys' life right now. You are a random, just normal iPhone user who, who plays Java Tree Dash. Keep in mind, you play Java Tree Dash. Big brain. Um, so, you're just a Geometry Dash person, and, um, you look in your recommendations page on YouTube, and you see this... Um, platformer mode, GD 2.2 private server by B Bob the Snake. And you're just like, <gasps> platformer mode, GD 2.2, GD 1.1, GD, I need to figure out how to do this. So first you look up how to get GD 2.2 editor. And, uh, and you find out how to do world editor. Um, so then you're like, okay, I, I, I can do the world editor now, okay. I, I did that. So now, uh, I need to figure out how to do the platformer thing. So you search up how to make platformer mode in GD 2.2. And then you scrolled for hours upon hours upon hours upon hours trying to find someone who gives you the stupid recipe on how to make stupid platformer mode in GD 2.2. And you spend three hours doing that. Then you stumble across my video and you click it, hoping for the answer. Well, young soldier, your journey is finally over and ladies and gentlemen i i am i'm proud to announce that a friend of mine we're going to keep him anonymous just for the sake of his privacy and his safety so he doesn't get killed um but basically he was kind enough to um take the time out of his day to um get into the gd 2.2 private server and leak the information to me so, um, now I'm going to show you guys how to do platformer, um, in GD 2.2. Also, um, this is sick, by the way. Um, look, look at that. Look. And then you could do that. And then that. And then you, and then it's like you win. Like, that's sick. Um, so let, let's, 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 let's make GD 2.2 editor. Stupid ad, get off my screen. Hold up, let me, let me just. Uh, yeah, 2.2 will be best update. Um, but let me explain. <clears throat> Ignore this toggle trigger. You, you will not need this in, in the process. But, um, we're, we're just going to move that off to the side. But, um, basically build all of this in the GD 2.2 editor. Also, um, I should probably mention, there's, like, three different line triggers. Um, this one is the one you're looking for, the one, like, the very last one. And, um, you want to get that in your thing, and then you want to place a four-time speed portal, uh, a pad right there. You, I, you don't need to put that, what I just did there. And you also need a dual portal right there. And, um, make sure you build, like, this. Don't build a toggle trigger. That's for, um, some other stuff that I was building in the level, like, later on. Um, but build all of this. Now, um, once you build all of that, the next step is to, um, basically place every single one of these line triggers in spawn and multi-trigger. I'm only showing this for an example for one, but put all of them in that position. Okay, so now you got step one done. You have all of those line triggers in, in spawn and multi-trigger, which means you have to have them in a group. So this um, line trigger that's right next to the spawn trigger that says two on it, um, that needs to be in group four, okay? Now you got that in group four. The one that's right above that spawn trigger with the two on it needs to be in group one, as you can see right here. And this one right here, which is above the spawn trigger that says one on it, needs to be in group two. So now you know which the what the groups are for these. Now, make sure 
all of these um are in the the two and you can do that by going in here and typing group idea id make sure that for the spawn triggers um there's delay 0 0.01 0 0 0.01 and for the group to spawn and multi trigger and um this spawn trigger right here has to be in group one now this spawn trigger right here with the one on it has to be in group two and it also needs to have that 0 0.001 on it and spawn and multi trigger and needs to have group id one toggle now for the uh touch triggers um now for the touch triggers you need to have dual and hold mode and then toggle on for the one that you have to write group four in which is this one for group four you have to write all of this so toggle on hold mode dual mode group four um you don't need to put this in a group neither do you need to put the the touch with the one on it but you do need to have this on dual and hold mode and toggle this one off um uh, and make sure that um, this pad right here has has some very important stuff about it. Make sure this is in reverse mode. And then once you tap, once you pass um, all of these triggers right here, you'll continue moving until you tap. And once you tap, you'll start to go into this endless cycle of becoming still until you decide to move again. And you can continuously tap on the right side of your screen and whenever you tap on the right side of your screen you move in a direction and every time you tap it kind of like reverses which way you go into and you can tap on the left side of the screen to jump which means you can like tap on this side at the same time and then you can like you know do a little bit of that see what i mean like you can just do that um but really that's all the steps you're going to need to make um this thing right here ignore the ignore the other dude um which you have kind of with you um you don't need to change anything in here at all just make sure you um you at least have the dual and 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 for speed and that reverse this has to be in the reverse trigger remember you do this in the 2.2 editor so this is like legit like you actually stop moving in the level this isn't like a tutorial on how to make it so you so it looks like you stop moving like an illusion though no, you're actually not moving if you look at my top bar you'll see i am not moving so anyone who who's been searching through for the internet for like three hours trying to figure out how to get the the recipe finally you guys can do it thanks to anonymous friend we're not going to reveal who he is because if 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 the people who made the gd 2.2 private server and the recipe for the platform mode find out who leaked the information they will literally go to his house and kill him But, um, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys really enjoy it. And, um, I'm writing a song. So, I hope you guys enjoy that when that comes out. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys enjoy your platformer mode. And remember, if you want to get to the GD, um, 2.2 editor, if you're on the iPhone, um, you can go to GD World and, um... There's a million tutorials of it on YouTube, so just search that up. It's not as hard to find as this whole platformer mode thing is, but you, you'll find it. But either way, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time with my new song. So, bye. I don't, I don't really know how it's said in this video besides just like and subscribe. And also join Dino Nation. We've, we've been getting a lot of members recently. Um, are we rolling? Oh, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, this is me, um, editor version of Energized Fanta here, um, letting you know, um, there was a secret message hidden at the black screen part of the video, um, the message basically says, um, that I am taking a break from GD due to me wanting to improve my videos more and start trying to work on them harder and, uh, stuff like that, and, um, that technically means that Lost Bone and other products I was I was finishing up, um, 
we're go are going to have to be on hold. So yeah, I just wanted to point it out so you so you guys don't get confused when there's not lost bone. I'll come back when I'm ready for Geom Trash again. I'm not quitting YouTube for now though. Um, I'm still going to be posting YouTube videos. It's just Geom Trash is over for a little bit. But peace now. Roll the outro.